We check different websites every day to see if there is any kind of sale going on so that we can buy the games that we always wanted to play. But I believe that there is a much better option where you don't have to wait. Any guesses? You can comment down below, by the way. Not that it matters because I'm going to talk about it anyway. But um, uh, you can still comment down below, right? Uh, let me know. I screwed that up, didn't I? Xbox Game Pass is a subscription-based service where you can play games free, kind of. Where you pay X amount of money per month to play hundreds of games in the library. Isn't that amazing? Tell me one subscription that can give you that. One. No, there is none. Only Xbox Game Pass. I'm sorry, just went a little bit too much over there. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass is available on both PC and console and you can play a lot of games including games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, Metro Games, Resident Evil, Sea of Thieves and more. But just like Netflix, there are some games that will be in the library for a limited amount of time and then they will leave. But don't you worry folks, new games keep on adding like Doom Eternal which just got added. But unfortunately that's only for console, not for PC. But since all these games are very well known and popular and something maybe you want to play. For example, I wanted to try out CEO of Thieves and see what this game is all about. But I didn't want to pay in Microsoft Store because it costs a bit too much and I didn't have enough. So I paid the Xbox Game Pass and I got to play Sea of Thieves and it is actually quite fun. Although I'm not playing it now. Now in general there's Xbox Game Pass for PC, there's an Xbox Game Pass for console and then there is Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now with Ultimate you can get Xbox Live Gold which means you get to play multiplayer with anyone and get free games per month and some discounts to some games as well. As well as you can play Xbox exclusive games on day 1 at launch. You also get Xbox Game Pass for both PC as well as consoles. All of that in Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, oof that's a staggering deal. Now Xbox Game Pass for PC costs only $5 per month while for consoles it costs $10 per month and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate costs $15 per month. Pretty cool prices isn't it? But don't you worry there are more offers to this. For example if you are buying Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for the very first time and you are the very first user guess what how much you have to pay? $1 for that month. $1. W wah. And you get to play all those games that everybody is playing when they're paying for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. The only problem is, it only works for one month and the next month onwards, you will have to pay the full price that the Ultimate has, that is $15. There are other deals as well such as in CDEase.com where you can get 3 months of Ultimate subscription at a lower price. Well, deals will come and go but what matters is what games are coming in to Xbox Game Pass. Almost every week there is a new game coming to Xbox Game Pass like we had Doom Eternal. We will also have Rainbow Six Siege but not only that we will have more games that can be played in day 1 at launch. For example, I played Microsoft Flight Simulator on day 1. I played Ori and the Will of the Wisp day 1. I also played Tell Me Why that Life is Strange-ish game day 1. And I only paid for Xbox Game Pass, not the Ultimate version. But bear in mind there are some games that need the Ultimate Edition or subscription. There is no edition. Another cool thing is how Xbox Game Pass keeps on adding. Like in December, we will have EA Play in Xbox Game Pass. But if you are an Ultimate user, you will have EA Play as well. So you will get to play some really cool EA games like Battlefield, NFS games. Is there any other EA game? And not only that, you get to play games in your own mobile. That's right, with the help of xCloud because that is also available in Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now what the frick is this xCloud? Well, xCloud is a way to stream Xbox game on your mobile devices where you can use an Xbox controller, connect it to your phone using Bluetooth or they also have a holder for that and you can directly play those Xbox games using an internet connection. There's also a specific gamepad for this as well. You just attach to mobile and play it as if it was a PSP or Nintendo. And there you go, you're playing Witcher 3 in your mobile phone. The gameplay isn't perfectly smooth and it's not the best quality and sometimes the visual might refresh but the good thing is you don't have to pay anything extra to play those games. Unlike Google Stadia where you have to buy Google Stadia, you also have to buy the games. It's just like buying iPhones, you know. Buy iPhones, buy chargers separately, buy earphones separately. They literally sell their souls for that one. Cloud streaming is really cool and with so many games that you can try out and play, no matter where you are, it just gives everyone a different experience. Although I wouldn't play games like Sea of Thieves walking down the street. I mean, I, I would require more focus in that. But I mean, if it's your thing, <laughs> okay, go for it, I guess. Well, xCloud is still is in beta and it's not available in every country, like ours for instance, because we still don't have xCloud in India. 
it will take time to come to India. But if you are a US citizen or some other country citizens, which there is a list of, then you can play using xCloud, using your Android phone or an iPhone, I believe. A little bit doubt in that one. Alright, I gave all this knowledge about Xbox Game Pass, how to get it, where to get it, what games to play, blah blah blah. But why do you need this subscription? Why? Well, duh, it's cheap. I mean, you can always go and buy Resident Evil 7 forever and play whenever you want to play. But I'm not one of those guys who's gonna play a game and after a year, I'm gonna replay it again because usually I'm done with the game once I play it. But if you're one of those guys who just want to experience a game, just want to try a game for the very first time, see how that game is, whether you want to play it or not, or maybe just want to play for once and complete it. For example, I played Ori and the Will of the Wisp on day one and I completed that game, I guess, a few weeks ago. I also got to play Metro Exodus because first of all that game was available in Epic Store. I didn't have enough funds, again Epic Store, so I thought like why not play in Xbox Game Pass and I played the entire game and it worked flawlessly. There is one downfall although is that you have to play monthly. But that doesn't matter right because you have so many games that it will be nearly impossible for you to play all those games in one month. It's like watching all TV shows and movies from Netflix or Amazon Prime or Disney X. Is it Disney X? I don't know its name. So by the end of this, what do you guys think about Xbox Game Pass? Is this something that you want to buy? Well, you can try it out right now because it's available for only $1 because you will be a new user and you can cancel it anytime you want. Like the first month is over, cancel it, boom, nothing is taken away. So why not try it out and see what games you can play? And since it's a month of Spooktober, you can always play Resident Evil 7, which costs still a lot in Steam. You can play that game in Xbox Game Pass and enjoy the Spooktober and keep that thing going. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you did not, leave a dislike. Comment down below what do you think about this episode. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this wonderful channel because more videos are coming very, very soon. You don't want to miss that. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. So make sure to take care of yourselves and play games and movies. I mean, watch movies. You know what I'm talking about.